was the best of times before it was the worst of times. And it sure is some nice today to say, yes! When Muskrat Falls was sanctioned, it seemed like a sure thing. Get the province off of oil and on to cheaper hydropower. We have been so uh, thorough. Nalcor has been so thorough in its analysis, in its work, in the methodology that it's used. We've had it tested externally by the best experts that we can find. And up to this time, uh, despite all the noise, nobody has been able to come forward with any substantive critique of that project. There were warnings. This is going to be expensive energy. But the risks downplayed. How risky is this venture financially? I would take my own money and put it into it if I could. That's the best thing I can tell you. It's, it's a great venture. But Danny Williams didn't put his own money into it. It's the people paying the power bills who are stuck with the tab. The case for Muskrat Falls quickly changed. It's all about two key numbers. While the price of oil dropped, the price to build Muskrat Falls has ballooned. The province is now on the hook for billions more. It's what they said wouldn't happen. You know, I've looked at everything. We've taken it apart a hundred times and put it back together. This is right for the people See, of the province. The Muskrat Falls project was not the right choice for the power needs of this province. Today, Muskrat Falls critics are running the province. The top man at Nalcor calls it a boondoggle. But the man who entered politics to make Muskrat happen doesn't have any regrets. Yes, there's overruns. <clears throat> These projects are built at a time when construction costs, and I know it because I was in the middle of it, uh, were probably at their all-time highest. So. Yeah, you can't make excuses for, for overruns, but by the same token, they're fact of life, and they happen. The facts about how these overruns happened will be up to Justice Richard LeBlanc to figure out at an inquiry. What he finds won't stop the project, won't stop the upcoming power hikes, but it will shape how history sees this project. I would not want to be the second premier to do a bad deal on the Churchill River. Peter Cowan, CBC News, St. John's.